So today we will talk about how to uh, edit a preset for the Tone X pedal and also how to load the third party impulse response file. So firstly, you need to use the USB cable connect to your computer and then open the Tone X editor. So here you need to set up the input device as the Tone X and uh, also the output device as the Tone X. Then uh, you can do the editing. So here you can see the player mode and the library mode. So uh, it's unlike the regular uh, multi phase you can edit the preset uh, on the current preset. No, you need to use the library. So for example, if I want to uh, find something based on like a, a 5150, so I just choose what I am looking for. And here is the tone model. You can choose any one like this. And uh, uh, you can see here some uh, is the based on the amp model and also the uh, cabinet. So you can drag it and uh, do something like this. Okay, so you can override it and it will uh, synchronize. So in the meantime, you already uh, have this preset and uh, as the amp model is the PV5150 and uh, he used the Mesa Pugi 412. So here you can rename it. So you can rename as you want. So maybe this is just like the VIVO. Okay, so right now you can go to the player more to edit it. So in the meantime, uh, you can tweak the sound and you can play it. And the feature for the Tone X editor, uh, you can use this to simulate the playing. So here you can hear it. Okay, so right now uh, you already have the, the preset and I want to tweak the sound. So here you can choose the uh, cabinet. And here I will show you how to load the customer, the impulse response. So you just choose this and then uh, click the plus then you can uh, check what you want to load into so here is the impulse then I can open it so I can add one here so you, you can see the new one and uh, you can choose which cabinet you want by listening <laughs> choose different style maybe something like this I like this cap so I will choose this one and uh, okay in the meantime you can store it as a preset so You can store it, maybe like a VIVO, yep, and then click the save. Okay, then in the meantime, uh, because I want Tonex use the third party impulse response file, so here uh, I already store it, then I need to drag it here again so I can override it. So in the meantime, the cabinet. Use the third party impulse response file. So that's it. So I can edit the preset and I can also load the third party impulse response file. But remember, it's unlike the uh, normal multi effect. You can edit on the current preset. No, you need to use the library and then you need to do it uh, maybe one time or twice. So that's it. Enjoy it.